Hey guys, this is Vanilla with 100% Raw Nature and today I wanted to make a video of um, just how to begin your vegan or plant-based journey if you're a person that's looking to transition and maybe begin to eat a little bit more healthy but every time you go to the store you buy a whole bunch of stuff you bring it home you're all excited then it goes to waste resulting in you spending a whole bunch of money and then you feel like oh my gosh this vegan journey this eating plant-based stuff is is just too unattainable because it's too expensive well, I want you to take a look at my shopping list today and hopefully you can have some form of template to follow and know what to buy next time you decide to go out. I got most of my stuff from Aldi's because I realized that Aldi's has really great deals and they are also uh, venturing more into the organics and you can get them sometimes for half the price you would in any regular store uh, like Publix or Walmart, okay? So uh, we're going to start over with this box over here. I got some broccoli um, heads or flowers, whatever you call them, right here. Okay. I also got some organic uh, plum tomatoes or grape tomatoes, if that's what they're called. Some uh, fresh zucchini. Some uh, squash, yellow squash. And there's four of them in each bag, I believe. Uh, some carrots. Okay some asparagus and some celery okay I also got the multicolored peppers which I absolutely love with cooking with and also for my salads I also got this huge um, container of uh, spring mix and as you can tell it's organic and the expiration date is the 11th which makes it even better I got a bag of spinach a two pound bag of plums some sweet potatoes. I also got the frozen blend of three peppers and onions because sometimes you don't feel like cutting up stuff, you know, and you just want to make something quick. And if you notice, it says no sugar or sodium. This is something you want to make sure when you buy your frozen stuff. And you actually want to make sure that it's worth it. In this case, it was worth it because the price wasn't high. I also got organic quinoa because I am a rice freak and I noticed that I've been eating a whole bunch of rice and um, it's kind of giving me a little bit of uh, problems health wise. I, I can feel it in my body. But um, I also got some petite uh, green peas from Winn-Dixie and whole green beans from Winn-Dixie. Okay. I also got some garlic. Cannot cook without garlic. Everybody knows that. <laughs> and some portobello mushrooms seasonings I decided to try the garlic herb uh, and garlic herb and yeah garlic herb garlic and herb seasoning sodium free uh, another thing is I usually discourage people from buying frozen fruits because number one they usually add a lot of sugar in frozen fruits and the price sometimes is ridiculous you can buy up your own fruit cut it up and freeze it which is what I usually do but in this case they had some organic blueberries and organic strawberries and when I looked at the label there were no sugars added and um, nothing extra added so it makes it actually well worth it and I think um, they were under two dollars and you know a little box of blueberries can run you up to five dollars and just a word of advice it is not worth buying strawberries or blueberries unless they are organic because you could actually poison yourself a little bit you could do more harm than good by poisoning yourself with uh, pesticides because these absorb pesticides at crazy values or speed whatever but um, another thing that I found on sale and I was just so happy about is watermelon. And the thing with watermelon is do not buy any watermelon, guys. Make sure your watermelon is seeded. Do not buy seedless watermelon. That watermelon will not do your body any good. It's as good as eating paper, okay? But they had watermelon on sale at Aldi's for $2.99 and I usually buy a whole watermelon seeded for $7.99, okay? Uh, I got myself a wonderful 
pineapple which is going to take a couple of days to ripen and that's also the other thing when you buy fruits you want to make sure that you buy some fruit green and some fruit ripe so that you can have a steady um, intake of fruit and like I said you cut up whatever you have out if you don't eat it and freeze it um, I have butter potatoes I love potatoes I'm a potato girl and I'm not just going to focus on eating sweet potatoes I'd probably get so bored and miserable within the diet so I'm one of those people I could eat potatoes every day and I guess if I'm not going to be eating rice hey might as well eat my potatoes I also have organic um, apples over here okay now this probably ran me about sixty eight dollars for all these uh, groceries and um, it's very attainable because this is going to last me quite a few days now of course when you're eating more organic and more vegan you are going to have to eat a whole lot more you know so that's also the other trick is you've got to increase your intake of food so um, oh I also forgot the coconut milk okay I will be posting recipes, some vegan recipes, some vegetarian recipes. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notifications bell so that you can get notifications whenever I post a video. I'll also post a list of um, this grocery trip so that if you want to copy this, you can copy it and then maybe we can cook a couple of meals together, okay? So thank you for checking me out and I just wanted to encourage everybody to eat a little bit more healthier and uh, lead a very healthy lifestyle. It's worth it and it's hard at first, your palate has to get used to it, but I tell you it is worth it. So for anyone looking to go vegan or anyone looking to just cut out meat from their diet a couple of times a week, this is the way to go. But remember... Buy everything in small quantities because they are perishable and they do not last as long as processed foods, okay? So with that said, I just wanted to wish you all a great week and thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.